Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherry Fat and I live in Nova Scotia in Canada. In this video, I'm taking you through a tour of Halifax Central Library. It's in downtown Halifax, very beautiful library. Come with me while I show you how beautiful our library is. So before I show you the inside, this is the outside view of the Halifax Central Library, one of the libraries in Halifax Regional Municipality in Nova Scotia. And then this is the inside of the library. This library is one of my favorite places to go to. It says a lot of purposes for me, not just the library. Even the kids really, really love it. It's a beautiful space that you can just go to, you know, read books, borrow movies, just sit down in a quiet place. It's a five level uh, building there are five floors and each floor has various segments so we have the kids place we have for adults those who want to read those who want to play games or just relax you know this is what it looks like and in canada as a whole the system allows it so it has like a library system in every province in nova scotia we have libraries in each municipality it's the halifax public library in downtown Alphas, beautiful place. My <laughs> kids love coming here. To want that like. Like so this floor like right library. here is the children's corner and uh, they're able to borrow books there's a play area somewhere here on the other side of the floor there's also like um a lego station various you know people just kids just love it here actually and for you to get um get access to the library or borrow books well anyone is welcome every, any, every, i think everyone is welcome to the library but before you're able to use the services like borrow books play games you need a library card and how do you get a library card with any two ids maybe your provincial id or your passport or your health card any id that is canada or nova scotia registered you are able to you know use that to register at least i think one id has to pertain to nova scotia really and then you're able to get access to the services here that's a water station where you can get water where you're in the library and then what else there's also a, a gaming station where you can, you know, borrow game. Kids love here to come play the PS4 or other gaming uh, activities. And that's pretty much it. So this particular library belongs to the Halifax Regional Municipality. So here in Canada, we use municipality like we use local government in Nigeria. It's, sim it's similar. So like, like the local government here. Each local government has... um. A library system and for the Halifax regional municipality i think there are about 15 libraries in the library system here and with your card you're able to go anywhere of this any of these libraries at all which means the card gives you access to any of these 15 libraries in Halifax regional municipality <laughs> In Nova Scotia, there are so many benefits of the libraries. It's not really about books. For example, there's a particular staff that is designated to meet with newcomers. I talk about you know the city to them if they are jump hunting if they have issues with english maybe they're not originally from an english-speaking country they have programs you know that facilitate you learning english or anything at all there are a lot of services so just go into the library around your community and just tell them oh do you render this service for newcomers you'll be surprised as to how much you can gain from the libraries here they also offer all kinds of I think in my community, the library in my community, they do like free meals on, f on a particular day or two. Also, if you go to the library with the kids, they offer snacks sometimes if you ask for. There are so many things I could, you know, get to learn in the library. For me, I just love it. Like it's a wonderful place to just chill and it costs nothing, right? It's free of charge to get a library card. And what I always tell people is, particularly newcomers is you have to make use of the libraries like because somehow somehow you are paying for these services because we are paying taxes so why not enjoy all of these facilities because all these things are government funded right so enjoy them you know make it count take your kids to the library borrow books read books and for me i also think it's a good place to imbibe the culture of learning or reading rather in our kids so i just thought so you know i like that i like that in this video Aside the beauty of the library, there are so many things you could get to learn in this library. So please, if you're a newcomer, grab the opportunity. I did not realize you were here. I didn't even know you were here. So I was looking for you. Uh, I think we would never laugh.
Show. Okay. I found this. Thing I'm gonna put it in your pocket. Okay, baby. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see. In Halifax Central, I love the seating arrangement, the various chairs, the various you know kinds of arrangements. Some are enclosed, some are open. Just anything that you know, you find something that will suit your need. Sometimes, yeah, like when I was having my diploma program, I'll come here after work. Maybe I have a quiz, like a test, an exam to to study for. I'll come into the, one of those enclosed space and just to read. Some days I'm not like doing serious reading. I'm just there to just chill. I'll stay in an open place, just you know, look around, you know, admire the beauty. People coming in, just see different place, different faces. Just, you know, taking the beauty of the space and all of that. So I'm just taking you around each floor. So that's the second or third floor. And I can't even remember. So this particular floor where I am, I think it's the last floor, the fifth floor. Yeah, it's one of the most quiet floors, I would say. Because it's strictly for adults. There are no, like, you know, any segments that has to do with kids. So I just come here sometimes. Just on this day, I was doing some, like, I think some, some work-related uh uh, activities my mom came with us so she was with the kids uh on the kids floor where I, where i was here you know doing some serious work so on, on them days when i'm serious i come up here to do like you know serious work and i love the ambience i love the and then open split the glass building so you can see through outside as well you know if you just go around i just really 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 like it and I think I also like the library for is that they have various activities that they render, you know, events on financial literacy, on business, on all kinds of topics. Like there was a time I was studying for my IELTS exam for my immigration uh, program. I had to do IELTS, uh, the one for academics. So I went to the, on the day I was to have my test, I came to the library. I had like a few hours before the test. So I came here just to relax my, you know, my head. And they announced that, oh, there was a program that was going to start in, you know, a couple of minutes for business owners. You know, I just went, let me just say, let me just go in and see what they have. And it was like one of the best things I did for myself and my business. We had the trainer was like a very experienced business owner. It taught us the rudiments of business in Nova Scotia, in Canada as a whole. Uh, so as I, when I, as I, mean, I did not come to the library, that they don't have that such, such things even takes place here right and see the view here it's in downtown halifax so it's an open space so you can see outside see the beauty taking the space and all of that i really really like it i, I guess you can tell from you know from my from from my voice <laughs> it's also an event like um uh an event center somewhere on the ground floor so there are programs i've attended a, a number of programs in that particular venue before so this is also a good space if you have something to host i don't know how the booking is done but they do have you know events in this library on the ground floor as well I really, I really couldn't get to do like a proper tour of the library because there were people there. I couldn't put people, you know, camera into people's faces for privacy reasons. I, I got, I just, you know, did what I could to bring you, you know, this video. Just, you know, a couple of places I could, you know, I could film, uh, without people people's faces being in my you know in my recording but it's a really really beautiful space share. that's what i'm trying to say and this is like the biggest uh public library in halifax regional municipality there are smaller ones in the community i've been to about four or five in total in halifax and other places also have their own library system as well and the good thing is there's no library you go to whether it's big or small you were able to enjoy enjoy about the same service right about the same things what you enjoy in a small pro in a small library or in a big library so this we're, we're about to leave so this was like almost like the end of the it was like a uh, a, um, a library date for my kids they've been telling me let us go and it's quite far from the house so i don't usually go, come here every time but the one in our community of course we go there like my baby goes there you know almost every time they're about two or three that we frequent my mom takes my baby there you know because she's out of daycare now i walk from home so it's, it's like a like a small like a mini school and also i phone forgot they have programs they have to do for kids for preschoolers you know kids were not in school yet there are programs in the library maybe one or two or three hours that they organize for them 
just take your kids there you know they will play with them and all of that activities maybe it's painting book reading and all that and this was my son checking out the books uh they borrowed uh it was like the end of the day it was on a saturday or sunday i can't even remember it's, it's been quite a while and that's just like a video for you guys just to show you you know a library and what you could get to learn in the library and off we went home on this day that's pretty much it and uh, hey let me remember that, that reminds me see this man come out of the see that man that man pissed me off that day we, we met him in the elevator and then all of a sudden once we we came in he went out I always read about Canada, how Canada is, how Canadians are nice and kind. But we have a pocket of people who are racist. I'm not quick to, to play the race or the tribe or the religion card. But when it's somebody that is being racist, you can tell. I mean, you can tell. This man was racist. Once I saw that a group of black people came into the elevator, it went out. So Canada is wonderful. It's great. Canadians are wonderful people. But on some instances, you find one funny, you know, poorly poorly behaved person that particular guy was one of the things that i i we experienced once in a while in canada that could make you feel like oh why you know but i mean even in your own country people who are not here from your tribe or your religion there are clashes there's friction so i don't let allow just one person attitude or character or you know behavior get to me if it's something out of out of hand, I report you. If it's at work, I report you as my like a colleague. If you do anything to me that I think that is racist, I report you, and I let you. Like, if but if something that I don't, I don't really know, just let it fly. Like I just oh, go your own. I'm just sharing this particular incident just to show that you know Canada is not all perfect. There are some people that will annoy you, the people that will say trash to you, and all of that. So ex you no, know, get ready for that. <laughs> that was it. So this is like so packing on week on weekends are uh, quite affordable i would say like on this day at uh, the packing i paid for like five uh, five dollars and it was like i we were there for hours uh, maybe like four or five hours we were there for i think i don't know if it's one dollar per hour i can't even remember but on week this i think it's more expensive i don't like packing on the roadside because you don't know who will come out to your car so i tried to just you know if it's weekend because the parking is not so bad i would say and you are at peace that your car is you know in a safe place there's no fear of you know you getting a ticket because it's downtown right you want to be careful when you're parking in downtown on this day i made a silly mistake i put my credit card in the wrong spot so the machine tried on my credit card i had to call them to get it back and this is me at the various libraries in alifax this is another library this is another one this is the central library this is i mean i've been to about four or five in different libraries small medium big you name it i love this particular sitting position in the central library it gives you privacy just stay there in your corner you're all by yourself and this is a picture of the library the front of it i love the architecture of this place it's a beautiful beautiful space the central library there is you see how big you know jesus and another time i went to the library i think i was studying for my for my exam this period like i used to go to the library like almost every time because i needed to pass that that you know that course and just be done with it that part of the you know the uh services you could get that, that the different libraries the addresses if you want to know or just google it right uh it should be good it said that the alifax public library like all the 15 that make up the, the library system in alifax experienced 2.8 million visits in all their branches and about 172,520 active registered borrowers that's about the, about half of the population in alifax you know make use of the library system which is great anyways i've come to the end of this uh this video i hope you enjoyed it that's the outside of the building beautiful as you can see thanks for watching have a great time please subscribe like and share and comment thank you bye